Hello and welcome back. My name is William James. I'm the host of The Bald Book Geek. Like, sub, do the usual. And if you're interested in memberships or Patreon and exclusive content, please consider that. If not, that's fine too. Let's talk about the bot army that's artificially promoting Rings of Power, trying to get it in a social media algorithm. And let's talk about the false copyright strikes that are going on. I also want to give a special shout out to Gothic Therapy on YouTube, aka Master of the TDS on Twitter. Uh, for pointing this out and the screenshots are his. He's absolutely fantastic. So let's start the show. It looks like Amazon are up to their old tricks and it's quite interesting watching this happen. There are two things to talk about here and I hope you guys enjoy. So we'll start with the bots. So as master of the TT TDS, aka Gothic Therapy on YouTube, I'll tag him down below, pointed out, and I want to thank him for finding these screenshots, by the way, he's, he's brilliant. I really like his content, uh, very level-headed and very interesting content, which I appreciate. The he pointed this out. A new trailer for season two of Prime's videos, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, debuted at SDCC. This was his tweet. While most fans reject the series, and a little over 30% of those who watched the series completely completed every episode until the end, some people seem to be more excited for the show. And they're all bots. And it's a chain thing. These are designed to artificially uh, build get things trending, get things in an algorithm, and none of these accounts are particularly real. Expensive sets, stunning costumes, epic battles teased and visually breaking return to Middle Earth. Highly anticipated second series features epic battles, stunning landscapes, and familiar characters in a new chapter of Middle Earth. And it's the same repeat of language. There might be subtle changes, but there's a whole thing with these, and, you know, it. it's very easy to buy bots and artificially create content and build up things on platforms such as Twitter, aka X, the artist formerly known as X, in a way that pushes things far more than it should. You can build up those engagements and things and they're all from most of them, not all of them, but most of them are from verified accounts, which I find even more fascinating. So yeah. Now Amazon have hit a new low with this, though, and I didn't think they could go any further from the bastardization of Tolkien's legacy to a show that is clearly a failure at this point that has bred an insipid fan base of monsters who are so wrapped up in their own ego that they cannot realize that maybe not everyone likes their show that they're so precious about, and most of them literally just want to screw everything. Amazon now are currently striking content creators videos, reaction videos, and other things. Now, I'm going to say this. Transformative content is a thing. Public domain. You can discuss copyrighted com content as long as it's transformative. As long as you're talking, as long as you're doing something, as long as you're engaging with it, it's fine. Putting the whole trailer up on YouTube is a different story. That's, that's copyrighted content. Or little to no change where people are like, I'm going to react to the trailer and they pull a face in the corner, which I absolutely cannot stand. And the reaction kids are quite interesting. Shorts are quite a major victim of that. But they are striking channels. Now, I've had my own experience with this. I had uh, attempted strikes on every video, pretty much, not every, but pretty much every video of Rings of Power that I made. Now, the thing about that is, they were striking me for using footage and copyrighted content, which is not something that I do. I intentionally stay away from using uh, video and all of this stuff because it's very, very easy to... Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's very easy to abuse the copyright system on YouTube, so I tend to stay away from it even if it's just the slightest, but I was getting copyrighted for pictures of my own face. And I fought each one, and the upside of having a solicitor who wrote a very, very nice letter. This is shameful behaviour on their part, and it's something that I cannot stand. They're so trying to control the narrative that this show is good, that it's successful, that it's true to Tolkien, that it represents Middle Earth's second age when it really doesn't, and literally that's the reason they're just angry over this. And it's not. It hasn't been the success they wanted it to be. It isn't Game of Thrones. And pretty much more interesting stuff about this show is the reactions and content created about it. 
I will be reviewing it, but I think it's a really shameful thing to do. Striking people's content when it's clearly transformative and within fair use. And I think it's just shameful. There's no way around that. I think it, I think it's always... It, it, people are so willing to abuse the copyright system. And... But yeah, so this has been going on for a long time. Other studios have done it. But when people are getting copyright claims on things that are clearly fair use, clearly, clearly fair use, there's a problem. And it clearly shows. And... I mean, between the bot army trying to artificially inflate this, this, I almost swore then, this crapshoot, and fake copyright claims, it's, it's a mess. And the fact that the show is pretty much universally laughed at by the wider audience is so funny to me because it clearly hasn't quite been what they want it to be. And they're going to gaslight you. If you don't like it, you're a bigot. And all of this stuff... They're clearly going to attempt to do that again, because, you know, if you don't like this show, you are a, an ist and a phobe and all of this stuff. Like, no, it's just badly written detritus intended for people who want to have their egos massaged. And it's more of a vanity project than an actual TV show. So I'm going to leave this here. My name, as I said at the beginning, my name is William James. I host the Bald Book Geek. Like, sub, do the usual, and I'll talk to you guys later.